Now this here's a story about a boy named Ian. A Kiwi child TV star, but nothing worth seeing. He became the CEO of Australia's biggest bank. A meteoric rise with his secret pension bank. He saw an opportunity with a global market crash to buy a bank cheap and help himself to the cash. He'd take your family assets, say the customer's at fault. Ian didn't mention that he made up fake defaults. Fake default, Ian, take your home away. Fake default, Ian, take your business too. Fake default, tricky, sneaky, two-faced, cheeky, hurting, working family. Bankwest was in trouble, liabilities weren't met. So he came to an arrangement where he'd make a downside bet. He'd fake a business default, take your pub, your shop, your farm. Relying on the public, thinking he would do no harm. He'd sell for a low value, so you'll still have money owing. Then he'd take your house and cash without the public knowing. The losses for the customer were too large to believe. No one realized that they were claimed on warranty. Fake default, Ian, lies on reputation. Fake default, Ian, got more liars than you. Fake default, tricky, sneaky, two-faced, cheeky, hurting you and profiting. The regulators knew, but really didn't care. Maybe didn't understand or simply were too scared. Profits were increasing, it seemed he could do no wrong. Ian was untouchable, but surely not for long. Now the families fought back in media and court. So Ian went on TV to say he's a good sort. He donated some money to charities and such. Then the media found out that it wasn't very much. Fake default Ian, fake philanthropy. Fake default Ian, broken family. Fake default, people say it's time to pay back all their money that you steal. Are you gonna fake default?